Welcome everybody to the ABC of Jazz. We're going to do itches and uh, itch and scratch. But before we do that, what do we like to do? We like to warm up. So let's do that. Uh, and I think we've got a bit of a Christmas theme as it's uh, coming up to Christmas. Christmas Date Boogie by Joe Turner and Pete Johnson. Yep. So let's copy me. Let's start with a bounce. Heels off the floor. Shake the arms. Add a twist. to see what you remember from the past 30 weeks. <laughs> Can anyone name one step that we've done? So you've got 30 steps to choose from. Who can remember one step? Name or demonstrate. Name or demonstrate. Oh, sorry. Falling off the log. Fall off the log. Cool. Do you remember how it goes? Let's see one. Yeah, nice, cool. Lucy. So let's all do it together. Is... So I'm going to turn around. We're going to stand on the left and we're going to kick the right. Kick behind, side, front. Behind, side. If you've not done it, just fake it. Just make it up. Kick. Now we can add some arms. We can throw them out. Kick behind, side, front. If I do it from the side, then I've got a little bounce, bounce, bounce. Kick. So I'm on the toes and bouncing. How do we do with fall off the log? Yeah, good. Should we have a quick... The Bunch last of music. music. Just one little tip though, when you do the exploding part, actually drop down rather than up. So you're going to think down. So as I do the explode, I, I sort of bend the supporting leg and drop down a little bit. Music? music. So we've got that next track. And that's, should we play the first song again? Maybe okay, maybe just a bit more volume as well. But yeah. before we do it, can somebody give me another step? Who can think? Oh, you can. Which one? What was that, Liz? The shag. Oh, the shag. I missed the class, but I loved it when I saw the ketchup. Uh, <laughs> okay, everybody shag. Think of it as a step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step. Add some tracking fingers. One finger or two fingers. Step, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Music. Okay. Oh, sorry, let me put... Christmas boogie back. Five, six, five, six. 
Push up, slip to the side, slip to the side. We can change the rhythm. A quick, 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 or slow rather. So we're going to be slow, slow, a quick, quick, slow. One, yeah, nice. two, a uh, one, two, three. How do we do that? Should we try a quick burst of music? Yeah, nice. Helen, it definitely is amazing. <laughs> Five, six, seven, and slip, stop, slip, stop, slip. Let's yes, put you them together with music. <laughs> yeah. got so we've got moves. fall off the log, the shag. shag, and a slip stop. So now let's see, it doesn't matter any order, improvise around those three steps. Just make it up, do whatever you can around those three steps. <laughs> and the slip top is a chug step <laughs> almost so it's quite a nice contrast to use um, cool great well done guys so three good moves shall we start the routine and then when we hopefully a bit of time at the end we can sort of mix it all in sure sure great so, well, hand over to the lovely miss anna let's uh, look at our move first before looking at the routine so it just happened that today we're going to look at itches and scratch uh, so the name the move is what the name implies we're going to itch and scratch all over and yes it is a jazz move <laughs> so the what's really fun about this move is to make it big and make it as uh, eccentric and fun as possible um, and we're going to work on the contrast so we can actually itch and actually scratch or you can make it a little bit more uh, just more like a pose if you prefer but what you want to do is going from one extreme to the other so if i cross first then i want to go apart if i go high i'm going to go low if i cross the legs i'm going to have them open so i'm going to go from as varied a position as i can shall we try it mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. And timing-wise, 
We're doing um, all slows. All slows, yeah. I mean, otherwise that would be quite crazy, I think. <laughs> on on the on every other beat. Five, six, seven, and itch, scratch, itch, scratch, itch, scratch, itch, scratch. Now, how's that looking? It's looking good, but we want to get more contortion in the body. We yes. want the contrast from one extreme where maybe okay. uh, you've got the knees in to the knees out. You're high, you're low. I think even bigger contrast. Let, let's just do an idea by idea. Let's just go roll the feet forward and roll the feet back. Roll the feet forward and roll the feet back. Now we're going to do the itch, itch and scratch now, but on one position you want to be forward and on the other one you want to be back. And let's alternate. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Cool. Yeah, that Good. gives you a little bit. Now let's try highs and lows. So you can be wherever you want on the ball of your feet, but let's do something high and something down. Five, six, seven, and high and low and high and low and high and low and high and low. I okay. think one thing I noticed is you're really using your whole body, Anna. So yes. it's from, you know, one foot to the shoulder. It's sort of, it's a, it's a contorted line. Okay. It's, Let's go body part. Let's go elbows, head, knees, behind, uh, back. back, scratcher, belly, and two different places, three different places. <laughs> no, we can't do that. Okay, so think different body parts. We've explored forwards and back, and that really helps you move the hips forward and that's what's going to give that sort of contortion feel to it especially you're rolling forwards so we've got that we've got the highs and the lows we've got different body parts now let's practice uncrossing and crossing so one uncrossed one cross just with the arms five six seven one two three four five six seven one two three five six seven so that's crossed as well because if my arms were together, they would be crossed, yeah? Um, I mean, I, I make the rules today. So just more of an idea. Um, let's do with the knees. Knees out, knees in. In whatever position. It can just be one knee in, one knee out, or both. Let's just play with that. So on, let's do on four beats. It gives us a bit more time to think. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you don't have to do it so regular. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice, that's getting better. Okay, so we're getting some ideas. We've got yeah. the feet, we've got the height, we've got the crossings, we've got the different body parts, we've got the knee crossing and knees out. Now, can we play some music and let's just play with that. You can think of one idea or you can just let your body find different positions. The further out and the more, um, the more you pull out and change between one, one position and the, the next, the better. Music. Let's do it every four beats. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. much better yeah can we do a contrast between uh, sharp movements and softer movements so maybe start with sharp yeah you know I, the sort of moving between yeah and then sort of softer moving between yeah I, I, I suppose I I don't think of that because I always do sharp for I think for itch and scratch so I quite like to sort of like it's itching and it's urgent but let's emphasize that let's really think of jumping from one position to the other and when it's, you reach the position you sort of stay there instead of saying oh maybe i want to be there just where wherever it, it lands just stay there it, it's imagine a flea circus got loose <laughs> they ain't that just going to go to one thing. spot they're going to go everywhere room. in this very room in this very room <laughs> so so the flea circus got loose and they're traveling around the body and you're chasing them here we go ready with music so sharp <laughs> Nice, 
Yes, that's looking more like itches. Yeah, that's great. Um, could we? I don't know if this is the time to do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, facial expressions. Just on its own, just imagine you're itching and scratching with just the face. <laughs> Imagine the sort of faces you'd be making if you're itching and scratching. So Don't you can, worry, come, a bit, you can come a bit closer to the camera <laughs> and we want to see the, your lovely faces doing itching and scratching. Is it time to take a Christmas picture, Simon? Yeah, I think so, yes. <laughs> um, uh, we just want to see. So Anna, you should come closer as well. Okay. And uh, we want to see scary. the contortion in the faces. So imagine the itching and scratching is going on, but just from the face. <laughs> I should have said that's good but you can't repeat a movement twice oh well that's you've easy do... you're behind the camera yeah <laughs> <laughs> try and think of I a think different movement good. you can I do i think that was very good okay so should we add it to some movement can but really get the facial together? expressions so, in? yeah think of all the possibilities that we've got now and add the face to it unfortunately really the sillier the better this is this really? is one of those silly moves. now this is a fun move yeah. the sillier, the better. this is crazy this is to happen. Okay, here we go. Ready with the face. Five, six, five, six, seven. See more contortion in the face. Don't get the knees. a little bit of heel and toe. Uh, should we do it in the routine? I think we should practice it on its own first and then add it to the routine. Yeah, now we're going to okay. make it travel a little so, bit. This is going to be cool. Maybe just, just the feet on the, your own. Let's just do the yeah. feet. We're going to step out on the right and we have the weight on the toe of the right foot, the heel of the left foot, and we're going to travel by bringing the left toe in, right toe out. And reverse, and reverse, and reverse, and reverse. You could travel to the left, but we're going to travel to the right here. How is that looking? Do we need to break it down, or is yeah, that? Yeah, uh, I can't see all the feet actually, but uh, okay. yeah, that's good, Lucy. Yeah, I wish so you'd done that before. That's good. Soul dancer. <laughs> uh, think travel. So I have the right heel up, the left foot up, and I travel with them. Reverse the weight, push the right, reverse the weight push the right, reverse. If you've never done that before, it's very tricky. It needs a bit of practice. But if you have done it before, we can move on. I think, yeah, I think, I think we're, we're, yeah. we're getting it. I so think, let's give me a it. thumbs up if you're happy with that movement. Yeah, yeah, okay. So now we have to combine it to the itching and scratching. Uh, so let's look at every two beats. Let's just travel once through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can we do that? Yeah. Five, six, Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All good? Yeah. No problem. Okay. Now we're going to combine it with the itches. So every time we change position, we're going to travel. So it's going to make our knees play in and out like we practice, but this time with movement. Okay. Um, this is definitely you... Lucy's move. Oh, excellent. Excellent. I knew it. Five, six. Seven and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's good, Helen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. If I feel it's a bit too small, I really try and think of the hips and the torso. So if I stay here, I've got lots of position of the arms. But if I bend and push the hips forward and back, I really extend the possibility. So I'm really always playing with this as well, with the sort of pushing in and out. Okay, let's try one more time, that's good. Five, six, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Ah, I notice a difference. Your shoulders are also really moving as well. Oh, we haven't yes. focused on that. Let's just look at the shoulders. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, 
they're kind of moving they can go forward lot. one can go up they can go down they can go forward and back let's do a few just the shoulders let's go up down opposites opposites forward and back forward back up drop yeah so lots yeah, of options nice. so it's, it's the, the trick is Doing it individually, isolating is fine. It's when you have to combine it with the itching and the heel and toe. Yeah. And the facial expressions, of course. <laughs> All of it. Okay. Think of it as a whole. Like you, you're sort of really imagine you're itching desperately and that really engages your whole body. So my, the, the, every part of the body has some tension to it. And that's why when you move one, everything else comes with it. So think direction. Boom. Bah. Ha. Ha. All right, can we have some music to travel and so, reaches? Is that same song good? Uh, yeah, that was good. Okay, it's called That's A Plenty by Sharky and his uh, shark band. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. And of course, it doesn't have to travel. You could sort of stay on the spot, can you? But should we do the routine? Yeah, let's do it together. So it's quite a short and uh, um, fun routine, uh, all with the itch and scratch. So we're going to start like, we start feeling an itch. And so we're going to go, oh, it's itching behind. So I'm going to pop, pop my left knee in and scratch behind. And then it starts itching in front. So you can see where I'm going there. So we start with one spot and then maybe two spots by popping the hip back. And then- Can, can you just do the feet on their own? So when you close the knee, the first one, you're not one. crossing the knee in front. It's just sort of, uh, it's not crossing in yeah. front of it. It's just- It's just popping. R remember what I said about the hips going forward? It's exactly what happens if I'm standing on two feet and I'm pushing my hip forward so the back, I come off the back foot. Huh. Yeah. Just a little pop. Nice. So it's pop. And then I reverse, I roll back and I pop the hips back. My, my uh, right knee comes up. Five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then seven. you've got your right heel off the floor as much as possible. Yeah. Really, really pressing, it, in. pressing into the ball of the pressing foot. So it's in, got some pressing in. sort of a strong line to so it. Like that, that movement, yeah. but with the hips accentuated. Pop, pop. Let's do it for four with the itch. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nice. Then we're going to uh, add four quick itches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can do whatever you like, but let's finish down whatever happens. So you can start down, go up and come back, or you can start up and move your way back. It doesn't matter. You've got four to end up down. Uh, let's do it from the top. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. From here, we're going to combine our itch and scratch with a windmill. So if you've not done the windmill, let's take away the itches. We're going to stand on the left foot. The right knee is going to, be, uh, is going to come behind the left in sort of a groove behind the knee. So there's connection. I'm not to the side, but I'm a little bit behind. I'm going to brush my right, knee, my right foot sorry, across to the left. I'm pushing all the way up, trying to reach the ceiling all the way to the side and down. So I'm tracing a circle with my foot. Two. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. Uh, I can't quite see my shit, but there's just one thing we'd like to watch. If you turn front ways, um, and if you again do the position, can you see Anna's right leg is tucked a little bit behind yeah. the left one rather than being it's to the side? Clear. It's really a little bit behind. It doesn't need to be completely, but it's just a little bit tucked. Yeah, so, I, I, yeah, that's good. It's good yeah. for support. It's better for your knee, and it will help with balance as well. Cool. Excellent. So let's do four of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A classic styling might be this. But we're going to go one, two, three, five, six, seven. So it's like, it's almost like you're itching your foot as well. 
because it's itchy. And um, so from the top, we've got five, six, seven, up to three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to keep the right foot, one, two, and we slide back, three, four, and then we finish with our in, out, in, five, six, seven. For the last eight is kick and slide, five, six, seven, in, out, in. One more time, five, six, seven. Kick and slide, five, six, seven. And you're sort of going up a little bit when you kick, aren't you, on the support Yeah, so I'm, I'm not trying to jump, but because I put a little bit of energy, there's a little hop that happens. It's whoosh and slide. Let's do that, five, six, seven. Whoosh and slide. Okay. And then I sort of fall into down, out, down. Just have a look for a second, Anna. If you do it two ways, do it... Um, uh, just but facing everybody if you do it I as you did so if you watch very carefully just the last so thing, yeah, yeah and see what you notice a difference so okay. you do that once one two three five okay six, seven. now do the same thing and don't use the arms one two three five six that is hard it sort of misses something you need to use the arms so they go in opposition and they really sort of uh, add a add a feature to the move really you don't see footballers running to the ball and do this. They're, they're using the whole body for counterbalance. There's the same thing here. Not that I play football at all, but it should come with the movement of the body rather than, then you can amplify it or you can choose to change it. But it should be a whole body motion. Kick and slide. One, okay, three. so um, both arms. So at the moment I see I see one arm going up forward because that's the one you're looking at, but you're forgetting the other one goes backwards. It's, and, but it doesn't work by thinking arms. It works by thinking how your body works and accentuates yeah. the move. So your, your torso is twisting and the arms accentuate what you're doing. You're not just sort of yeah. throwing one arm up and one arm back. Really it's imagine a, there's a ball in front of you and you're coming to kick it and naturally you're going to sort of prepare and turn your body for it. Let's try that. Okay, everyone and get a ball, ball and let's kick and it. Let's Just watch out for the crystal. Aim for the goal. Ha! Did your arms move? I hope so. Otherwise, uh, yeah, that's better. we're not going to be a okay. very good team. <laughs> Football team. Um, right, let's do the, the last eight one more time. Five, six, seven. Kick again. Slide in, out, in. Now we add the itches, they're not so much on the kick and slide, maybe on the slide as I get my starting position and then in, out, in. And I'm going to finish in one of those poses, that's it. From the top, when you start small, it starts to itch, maybe one flea and then two fleas and then the whole circus gets loose and then we itch so much we want to scratch everything, even the foot, then we kick because it's too much. We slide and in, out, in. Cool, let's do it. Lovely. Five, six, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kick and slide, five, six, seven. Nice. Can we have some let's music? Let's try it with music. Give me a thumbs up if it's good. Yep, excellent, let's do it. It's great. Once facing, but then add on any of those other steps we did uh, earlier. Yes. So then just try and add freestyle. on some, and in your own freestyle, fall off the logs, uh, shag, or, or whatever. Right, here we go. So we'll do the routine again. <laughs>
So that's good. Should we try it one more time? That was the warm up round. Uh, facing or from the back? Or it doesn't matter. Uh, let's do it facing. You can okay. do it facing. Oh, uh, no, the other way. You the want and turn around, yeah. Um, when you do the freestyle, don't worry about what anyone else does. Just <laughs> go for it. Anything. Just fall off the log. Uh, just just do the first shape, Anna, fall off the log. Just watch. Freeze. Can you see it's got a lean, it's not straight. Because some of you were doing your... Yeah, that's straight. nice. Uh, thank you, Liz. Lean. That's good. Yeah, really imagine you're falling. It's a falling and you catch yourself with the arms. Oh. Yeah. yeah, really pull the shoulder back. But when you when you do that, you that's when you want to drop so you actually have your balance. So you're not really... That's why you drop down a little yeah. bit. Okay, one more time. Let's do it. Uh, and then we're going to keep dancing at the end. Maybe we'll do it once with Anna facing, then I'll say let's do it again and you can do it facing the second time. Okay. Okay, pick it up, freestyle, anything goes. Fall off the locks or shank. Or slip socks. Or anything we did from the warm up. Boogie backs, boogie forwards. Okay, let's get ready for the routine one more time. Should we start the routine again? Five, six, seven. One. Two. Windmill. So freestyle itching. That flea circus got loose. Go crazy. Don't forget the face. Contorted shapes, angles. Nice. Yeah. Nice. All right. It's challenging the freestyle at the end, isn't it? When you've got to think of your own things to do. It's easier when you've got a routine, but that's the beauty is improvising and learning just to, that's how you improvise. Just start with a few steps and you can mix them in. Really? Cool.